my first time with uni, I was very fortunate to taste very good uni. It was very cold, it was in a bowl, it was full of the uni. And I was just taking spoonfuls like that. The taste and the umaminess of it was a great experience that made me an uni lover. My name is Jason and I'm the owner of Uni Gallery. Uni Gallery is primarily a sashimi restaurant. We serve the full range of sashimi dishes, seasonal and staple sashimi. But our main emphasis is on uni. We have uni from different places around the world. Today we have Australian uni, it's from Tasmania, it's called a short spine uni. And we have the Canadian giant red sea urchin, which comes very big pieces, it's really a giant. And also we, of course we have a Japanese uni, shiro uni and buffoon uni. One of the dishes that we serve here is the uni oyster shot. It's actually one of our signature dishes. Basically, it's 10 seconds of bliss. It comes with uni and ikura, that salmon roll on an oyster, dripped with ponzu sauce. Why we call it the uni oyster shot is because you need to take it in one shot. And you'll find that your whole mouth is like umami explosion. It tends to fill up your whole mouth, so all your taste buds are titillated at the same time. Yeah, it's a foodgasm, if you will. The Uni Chirashi Don is an absolute value deal. It's 60 grams of uni on rice, so it almost covers all of the rice. If you like ikura, you can add. Usually, we call it uni ikura, but some people they like more ikura and they can have a double serving of ikura. That's why we call it uni ikura ikura chirashi. I didn't believe that Japan was the only source of good uni. I think that places in cold water, near cold water, also has good uni. So Australia is down under, but they are near cold water and the uni there should be good. As well as Canada and North America. We found good uni from there and decided to bring it in. As far as I know, we are the only ones. Most people will be familiar and like the buffoon uni. Buffoon uni is uh, usually caught around Hokkaido. Most people like it because it's sweet. That's like uni 101. Most people start with buffoon uni. For those that go deeper into uni, Japanese uni probably like Murasaki uni. The taste is sometimes to the point of bitter. If you get very good Murasaki uni, the taste is just like any other good seafood. You taste the sweet taste of the sea. I personally now, my favourite is the Australian uni. It is actually very similar to buffoon uni. What sets it apart is the texture. It's very firm texture, it's got a great taste. All uni that is good uni, you shouldn't have any fishy smell. So it's got a very clean, sweet taste, very firm, and yet it's still creamy. We also have another dish called the uni bukake. It's actually like the granddaddy of all uni chirashis because it's 100 grams of four different types of uni, subject to seasonal availability. But we try to serve four. This is for those people who really like uni. Bukake has been borrowed heavily by the porn industry, but bukake originally means splash in Japanese. Now it's like right at the time of our first anniversary, we came up with a collection of um, new dishes called the uni roll and milk collection. We combine uni and caviar and different fish roll with different ingredients. One of them is the le tetsuya. It's actually uni and caviar on Hokkaido crab meat with white miso sauce, which kind of marries the whole thing. The second one is it's a simpler dish. It's a uni and caviar and quail egg. All three have their own type of creaminess. The quail egg has its own silky smooth texture. The caviar also has a nutty, oily aftertaste. And all the three have their own different types of oiliness. The sensation of these three different types of oiliness is what makes the uni, caviar, quail egg kind of special. Uni is a premium ingredient because it's labour intensive to get it. You have to dive in. When you see them in trays, it's already carefully selected from many uni. They pick the right ones, same colour, and that's very labour intensive. I didn't realise it would be so much work to run a restaurant. At the same time, yeah, it's been very rewarding and it's a great platform to meet a lot of people. You get to learn a lot about food. I'm an uni lover. I haven't gotten sick of eating uni and I don't think I ever will.